Alright, so welcome back to another video. Um, today I feel like I could do a bit of a um, story time, like a few other YouTubers do. And I felt like I could do it on the injury I have, which is just preventing me from doing my mountain biking for 10 weeks. And I'm very annoyed about that. But the good thing is, is that I get to have my first broken wrist, I suppose. But I am not sure about having this because this is my sixth break. So let's get started with the baseline. So I was at I was at youth and I was having a Nerf war for a nice pizza a cool pizza party and Nerf war together for my youth group. And I was we were having a Nerf war and just before the Nerf fall, which I was getting really excited about, and I was hyping myself up and wanting to get up to the good, good, good hiding areas because this is this is a um, this is a sold cinema which the youth brought, and we were using it as a base, as you could say. So at the top of the cinema, there was some stairs going up. You took, you can, there were some chairs taken taken out, and if you go up to the top of the cinema, there was say. Um, Say um a, we could say, like a some sort of two little corners, just um below the where they screen the movie from. So just below that was where I was going to go for my like base where I was, where I could shoot everyone. And this this is a nerf war by the way, so just clarifying. Now also, just before we were. Um, going to start the Nerf War, we, there was one of the youth leaders um, brought in a hoverboard for the night, for I'm not sure what reason, but just brought in for fun, you see? And I decided on the hoverboard just for the Nerf War, just for fun, because I've never been on a hoverboard before, and I wanted to see what, how it was being. Like, it's like a Segway, like, if you don't know what a hoverboard is, it's literally just like, if you know what a Segway is, it's kind of hard to explain, it's literally like a self it's not like a hover futuristic magnet sort of hoverboard thing, but it's kind of hard to explain. But I'm sure I'm sure you would know what a hoverboard is. So I'm doing I'm on the hoverboard and I'm going all right for just a while, and I'm just going slow because it's my first time, so I'm just getting used to it. And it's on low battery, so I'm, I'm cautious of that, knowing that I might not have as much time as I thought I could. So I get I go off to get off the um get off the hoverboard, then get one slice of pizza just before the just before the Nerf War, and I get back on the hoverboard. However, and I see because before some some of my friends where there was another like wheel thing which you could go along. So I had this idea: if I put my legs on the wheeled thing, and I put my arms on the hoverboard, and I could steer myself around. And just lie, and while lying down, while still going around the place, I feel like I could do that. Now, however, the wheel thing was under a table, and I wanted to go and get that. Now, I was doing slow, and I'm going around, turning around, and um, however, when I go down, and I'm still on the hoverboard, however, I go down, and I reach over to get the wheel thing. And the hoverboard runs at a battery. Now, when the hoverboard runs at a battery, it can sometimes like kick you off. Now, what happened was when it ran out of battery, and I'm crouching down to get the hop to get the wheel thing. Now, what happened was it turned to the left, and I fell backwards. And when I fell backwards, I felt this. I didn't really feel much because it didn't really feel too painful because it was a buckle fracture, however. And buckle fractures don't take that long to heal, and they're not that painful. Now, what happened was, when I fell backwards, I put my hand down, and I assume I landed awkwardly, and then when I go back to get to get up to get off the hoverboard, and then get the wheel thing and get back out, when I try to push myself up from the ground, I get this slight pain in my wrist, and I feel like oh, it's not good. I feel like this, and then. And so, I meant I eventually just 
get up with the other hand and I go sit down. Now the youth leaders want to see how I am just in case it's broken. And I feel like, oh, this is going to be just like an overnight thing that's just going to heal up on its own. Now, however, this is where I was going a bit wrong. When I'm leaving the cinema to go home, I realise I get in the car, and when opening the door with my left hand, however, I can't open the door because my wrist is really weak and so I feel like oh this is not good and so during the night I can't get to sleep because it's just it's it's so painful the wrist so it, it just it the pain just starts to kick in and so I feel this is really painful and this is not this is not good and so in the morning I'm sitting down on my iPad and I'm thinking I'm thinking this is not good this is not getting any better but I'm just gonna see how it goes throughout the day and so mum says to me I think we should get this checked out because this is not seem good and I think we should get this checked out at the hospital. So we go to the hospital and it seems to be alright, I'm alright for now. I'm sitting down, I get called in, I go for an x-ray. Now I go for the x-ray, I come back, I'm sitting there for a while, I'm waiting and I think this is not that bad. And I'm in a sling because this is what would be good for it to heal quicker. The doctor comes in and, I, and says to me, and I go in. And when I'm walking through, he says, it's broken. And that's when it kicked in and I just my, and my heart just felt and my heart just sank because I thought this is this is it. I can't go riding for I don't know how long, a couple of weeks. And this is bad because I, I really enjoy riding. Like I'm so good, like I wanna get hyped up, like I'm, I wanna get like I eventually wanna be riding for Red Bull. And then I feel like, oh this is not gonna be good. I I can't get back in for like another couple of weeks and this is bad. And so then he says to me, you're going to need to get a cast. And then I was like, a cast? And I was like, so I, need, I get the cast, however, and when I get the cast, this is not like a cast I'd be expecting, like this one here. This nice blue one. And this cast, however, is quite comfy. And then he says, come back in a week, come back in one or two weeks' time to see how it is. And so I'm thinking this is not good. I, I'm not going to be riding for like, I don't know how long. And then... This is like during the week. My mum says to me, "The hospital calls. We're gonna have to come in on Friday." And I was like, "Good, I'm gonna get a new cast because this cast is really annoying." And so I get the new cast on Friday, and I'm and then the doctor says to me, "You're gonna be having the cast on for another four weeks." And I was like, "Okay, that's the regular amount of time for a cast to be on." I was like, four weeks. He's like, "That's nothing." And so and then he says, "And then once you get your cast off." It's in, you're going to have to stay over your bike for another six weeks. And I was like, six weeks? And six weeks is too, is too long. For, that's a total of ten weeks. And maybe two weeks is just for extra safety. And that's, I'm like, that's twelve weeks. That's too long to be off a bike. That's, that's a month. That's two months and a bit. And so I'm just sitting there. I'm like, this is too long. Like, I can't be, a, I can't be out of my bike for this long. Now I'm just sitting there waiting to get that to get this get this cast on, and I'm just like sitting there. I'm like twelve weeks is too long, and so when I eventually get the cast on, like it's you would expect how a cast is put on if you if you had ever had a broken bone. I've never had a cast before because I've either had braces, slings, or other types of casts, but not a cast like this. However, and so I'm just sitting there. Time goes by until now. And so I decided to make this video, and I've still got another two weeks to go until I get the cast off. And that's not too long, like, like two weeks is fine, but when you get the cast off, I've still got another five weeks to go, let me count. So we've got four weeks, five weeks I've been in the cast, and then we add another five, so that's five weeks to go. Now five weeks off the bike is not good, however, because I need to get on the bike to get back to Kinos, you see. And just, it's too long, and so... Right now, we're another two weeks, five weeks off the bike after that, and I still another seven weeks. So, that's the story of my broken bones. I might make the this my broken wrist, give me my bike, give me off, me off my bike for another seven weeks. And if I might, I might make a few other story times. This is my first story time video, and I'll probably might make a few others. Um, I don't have the X-ray of the wrist, but of my other broken injuries like my. 
I don't have this because I've I'll tell you my injuries. We've got wrist, elbow, other elbow, skull, left knee, right knee, and that's about it. Um, can't remember any more, but because I've had too many, I've had six that I've counted so far. Um, and so yeah, um, I might make a few other story times about the videos. And I hope to see you guys in my next video, which will probably be maybe Kinross or somewhere around there. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, comment down below about anything you want to see. And um, I'll see you in my next video, which will probably be at Storytime or Kinross. So, bye.